Now we are going to understand a little bit more about the controls inside Power Apps. We have classic controls and modern controls. Right now, if we go to inserts, we can see these controls here. For example, we have the button that we just inserted in the previous lessons. And we can see these properties here. But what happens is that Microsoft recently introduced the modern controls. We cannot see them right here, at least I cannot see, maybe you already see, but we can enable them. But before enabling, I'm going to insert a text input, that's this one, it's not the modern one. You will see the difference once we enable the modern controls. So let's insert the text input just to have one here. This one is the classic one. Notice that I just went to insert and selected text inputs. And the text input is the input that I can type text inside it. Now let's enable the modern themes and controls. Notice that here in the top we have also this theme tab that we can click to apply and change colors of things, but it doesn't work very nicely. Let's keep the standard one. Let's now go to the settings icon and here let's find where we can enable the modern theme and controls. It's in the updates. And here we have modern controls and themes under the new tab. Sometimes it changes. Maybe in the future this is not here anymore and it comes enabled by default. I'm going to set it on and then close this tab. And now if I go to insert again, the icons look a little different. Now we have the modern controls in here, not the old ones anymore. So I can insert a button, for example. And we can see that this button already looks a little bit different. It's still blue, but it has a different feeling. And if I click on it, I can see that we have different properties, such as icon, for example. Now this modern one can have an icon on it. Let's select the airplane icon. We also have the text properties, so I can change it, for example, click me. And some layout properties. Notice that now some properties are not here anymore, or they are in different places. For example, we don't have the background color anymore, but we have the type where we can choose primary, secondary, outline, subtle, and transparent. They change very subtle details, but we can choose between them. We can also choose the color palette. For example, now it's blue, and I can select the red one and the button will become red. I cannot choose the specific color. Well, I have the custom here. It helps a little, but it doesn't give the specific color that I'm selecting. It sets to a color in that range. Some people prefer the modern ones. Some people prefer the old ones, the classic ones. Since they are introducing the modern ones, it's possible that the classic ones will disappear in the future. Now let's insert a text input to also see the difference. So I'm going to insert, I'm not seeing it here, but we have under the input part, the text input. It also looks a little different. And we have different properties here as well. Also the way to access information between those can change. For example, to get the text that's written in here, I'm going to insert a text control and then I can get the text that's written inside this one by getting its name. So I'm going to put here in the text property of the text, the name of this text input, that's text input one dot text. And this will get the text that's written inside here. If I want to do the same for the modern control, let's insert a new one. Let's get the name of this one that's called text input canvas one. And here in the text property of this text control, let's put the name of the input dot value. And now if I type something inside here, we can see that we can access it. So they also have difference on how to access the data that they produce. I'm explaining this because in the first module of the course, where we do an agenda app, I'm using classic controls because when I recorded it, there were only classic controls available. Soon, I'm going to be updating that module, but while I don't update, 
please keep that in mind, that if you put, for example, text input one dot text and it doesn't work, maybe you need to try value because it's a modern control. If in your scenario, you already have the modern controls enabled and you want to insert a classic control, instead of finding them in here under the inserts, you will still click in the inserts, but here in the end, we have the classic parts and they are here inside the classic section. So always that I insert a text input, a button and so on, you need to come to the classic and insert from here. That's just for the first module, the Excel module. The SharePoint one already uses modern controls and maybe you will find some repetition about this new change that Microsoft did in there. Together with classic controls, we have modern themes. Now on these three dots here, this is also something that changed a little, this bar in the right. Now we have to click on these three dots and we have themes. And here we can pick a theme. For example, I may select green theme. And then the modern controls will come with this color already. If I insert a new button, let's say button, it will start green. This one that we inserted before is red because we already changed the color palette. But if I click here to reset, it will go green. And if I change the theme, everything will change to adapt to that color. That's very nice because you can change how the app looks just with one click, changing the color scheme of the app. Now that you know that you can enable the modern controls and that you know the difference, that maybe you already seen the modern controls in here and if you want to insert the classic ones, you need to scroll to the bottom and find the classic session, we can continue understanding the interface. And in the next lesson, we are going to see this tab here in the left, the app authoring tab, where we have several important parts that we are going to understand one by one. See you in the next lesson.